Have you ever sat on the edge of your seat, heart pounding as the clock ticked down to the final seconds of an NFL game? Of course you have. But do you know the story behind the thrill, the drama, and the legends? How did this all begin? What paved the way for the colossal spectacle that is the NFL today? Well, you're about to find out. Not only will we take you on an exhilarating journey through each transformative decade of the NFL, but we've also sprinkled in some mind-boggling trivia questions on the way. Keep your ears peeled and your eyes wide open. You'll get all the answers by the end. But for now, let's dive headfirst into the history of the NFL. Are you ready for some football? The Early Years Imagine this. A group of men gathered at Hupmobile and Jordan's Auto Showroom in Canton, Ohio on September 17, 1920. This gathering led to the birth of what we now know as the National Football League. Originally called the American Professional Football Association, APFA, its first president was none other than Jim Thorpe, an Olympic hero. Football in the 20s, as you can imagine, was a different beast. Franchises were volatile. Teams could fold in the middle of a season. The Decatur Staleys, who later became the Chicago Bears, got their franchise for a mere $100. Can you believe it? Just a hundred bucks for a piece of football history. Though not a founding member, the Chicago Cardinals hold the honor of being the NFL's oldest continuously run team, dating back to 1898. Their story shows the league's deep roots. But let's talk about 1933, a year that revolutionized the NFL. Until then, championships were determined by season standings. All that changed when the first official NFL championship game was played. The Chicago Bears squared off against the New York Giants, and it was the Bears who emerged victorious with a 23-21 win. A tradition was born, one that would evolve into the Super Bowl spectacle we know today. Time to get into the game yourself with trivia question number one. What was the first team to win back-to-back -back NFL championships? Post-war and golden era. In the aftermath of World War II, the NFL began to flourish, drawing bigger crowds and creating legends who are still remembered today. Players like Sammy Baugh and Otto Graham were superstars in this era. Ball with his all-around skills and Graham with his 10 consecutive championship appearances were the faces of the league. One of the most iconic games from this era was the 1958 NFL Championship, often called the greatest game ever played. It was the first NFL game to go into sudden death overtime, and it captivated the nation. The Baltimore Colts defeated the New York Giants, solidifying the NFL's place in American culture. The 50s also gave us the million-dollar backfield of the San Francisco 49ers, featuring four Hall of Famers in one backfield. Y.A. Tittle, Hugh McElhaney, Joe Perry, and John Henry Johnson. Their performances are still the stuff of legend. And let's not forget about Chuck Bednarik, a two-way player for the Philadelphia Eagles who embodied the ruggedness of the era. His game-saving tackle in the 1960 NFL Championship is one of the most celebrated plays in history. Let's celebrate with trivia question number two. What was the name of the team formed when the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles merged during World War II? Television and merge. The 1960s and 70s were transformative decades for the NFL, marking the emergence of televised games and the merger with the AFL. In the 1960s, Johnny Unitas, quarterback for the Baltimore Colts, became an emblem of the league's new era, taking the Colts to multiple NFL championships. But Unitas and the Colts would be stunned in Super Bowl III. In one of the most memorable upsets, Joe Namath and the New York Jets defeated the heavily favored Colts. Namath had boldly guaranteed the victory. I think we got a heck of a shot of winning. We beat anybody in the world, and I think we're going to win next Sunday. And he delivered, giving the AFL its first Super Bowl win and helping to validate the impending NFL-AFL merger. The birth of the Super Bowl was another defining moment. 
The Green Bay Packers, coached by the legendary Vince Lombardi, claimed the first two Super Bowl titles, defeating the Kansas City Chiefs in the inaugural game. And let's not forget about the immaculate reception in 1972. Franco Harris of the Pittsburgh Steelers caught a deflected pass and ran it into the end zone. One of the most miraculous plays in NFL history. Jim Brown, arguably the greatest running back of all time, dominated this era. In just nine seasons with the Cleveland Browns, he left an indelible mark on the league. On the defensive side, Dick Butkus and Mean Joe Green were figures of intimidation, changing how defense was played. In the 1970s, the Pittsburgh Steelers became the team of the decade, winning four Super Bowls in six years. Led by Terry Bradshaw and the Steel Curtain defense, they were virtually unstoppable. What's stopping you from answering trivia question number three? What was the name of the first Super Bowl played in 1967? Modern Times. The latter part of the 20th century and the early 2000s were times when the NFL became more than just a sport. It became a phenomenon. A crucial game that encapsulates this era was the NFC Championship game in 1982, featuring the catch. Dwight Clark caught a last-minute touchdown pass from Joe Montana to beat the Dallas Cowboys, sending the San Francisco 49ers to their first Super Bowl. In the 1990s, we saw dynasties take shape. The Dallas Cowboys, led by the triplets, Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, and Michael Irvin, won three Super Bowls in four years. Then came the Green Bay Packers, reinvigorated under Brett Favre, who led them to a Super Bowl win in the 1996 season. Fast forward to the 2000s, and the New England Patriots emerged as the team to beat. Led by Tom Brady and coached by Bill Belichick, they captured three Super Bowls in four years from 2001 to 2004. Another game that left fans on the edge of their seats was the Music City Miracle. In a 1999 wildcard game, the Tennessee Titans beat the Buffalo Bills with a lateral pass on a kickoff return, traveling 75 yards for the touchdown. Players like Jerry Rice, Walter Payton, and Ray Lewis became more than athletes. They became icons. Rice broke every receiving record imaginable. Payton was a relentless runner, and Lewis changed the game on defense. How are you doing in the trivia game? Here's question number four. When was instant replay first introduced in the NFL? The 21st century. The 21st century in the NFL has been a blend of emerging tech and awe-inspiring talent. Who could forget the tension in Super Bowl 42 when Eli Manning broke free from a sack and threw a pass caught by David Tyree against his helmet? That play led to a Giants touchdown and ultimate victory, derailing the New England Patriots' perfect season. Fast forward again to Super Bowl 49, and once more, a single play captured the world's attention. Malcolm Butler's interception in the dying seconds of the game gave New England a win over the Seattle Seahawks, proving that in football, every second counts. As for players who have become larger than life, Tom Brady stands atop the list. Not only did he manage to collect six Super Bowl rings with the Patriots, but he also moved to Tampa Bay at age 43 and promptly won another. A model of longevity, Brady's career has been aided by science, from diet to tech-assisted training methods. And then there's Patrick Mahomes, a superstar for the new age. Drafted in 2017, Mahomes led the Chiefs to a Super Bowl 54 win and recently secured another championship in Super Bowl 57 during the 2022 season. Even seasoned veterans like Peyton Manning left an indelible mark in this era. His meticulous game preparation and ability to read defenses were unmatched, setting the stage for the young quarterbacks who followed. Technological advancements also played a significant role. RFID chips in players' shoulder pads and helmets equipped with impact sensors changed the way we look at player safety and performance analytics. The blend of tech and talent has made this era of the NFL an incredible spectacle.
If you think you're an NFL trivia MVP, then answer trivia question number five. Which quarterback won the league MVP in 2020? What a journey. We've traveled through a century of touchdowns, tackles, and triumphs. From those early games in the 1920s to the worldwide phenomenon the NFL has become, this league has shaped not just American sports, but global culture. And it's far from over. The NFL story is still being written. One play, one game, one season at a time. Now, before we go, let's get to those trivia answers you've been waiting for. Trivia answer number one. The Green Bay Packers were the first team to win back-to-back -back NFL championships in 1929 and 1930. Trivia answer number two. The Steagles was the team that was formed when the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles merged during World War II. Trivia answer number three. The first Super Bowl played in 1967 was simply known as the AFL-NFL World Championship game. Trivia answer number four, Instant Replay was first introduced in the NFL in 1986. And trivia answer number five, It wasn't that long ago that Aaron Rodgers won the league MVP in 2020. There you have it. How'd you do? Don't wait, Gridiron fans. Hit that subscribe button ring the bell, and be the first to join us for more exciting journeys through the world of the NFL. Because here at Kickoff Zone, we're just getting started.